Hey guys, it's Ross Scott in the Space Coach. So I thought we'd have a first look at this. Alice in Wonderland by, uh, who was it? <laughs> Lewis Carroll. I was going to say C.S. Lewis, because obviously we were just looking at the Narnia. But yes, with illustrations by Helen Oxenberry. There you see on the back. I got this for £1 from a charity shop. And there's a little dedication from the previous one. For Bethany on her dedication day, October 13th, 2002. Uh, love from Mary Ann, Sophie, Clive, and I don't know if it's Angel or Miguel. I can't quite read it. Black pen on red paper. It's very difficult to make out. See, can you even see it? You have to turn it for you to to see it a little. So, yes, I'll just pop it out of its dust jacket to make it easier to look at. And now you just see the whole volume. But, yeah, I mean, oh, that's lovely. That reminds me of what shut down. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. And there is Lewis Carroll. Uh, the Philip Jose Farmer Riverworld series essentially has one of the characters, the lady who inspired the Alice character. Uh, there's some bits there. I'm not sure what these are. Oh, it's just the chapter titles. So, down the rabbit hole, a mad tea party, all that sort of thing. There she is. Very nice illustrations. And obviously there's been any number of versions of Alice in Wonderland over the years. Also, um, the Tad Williams Otherland series. Uh, but all the different connected uh, basically internet realms um one of them was an alice in wonderland world but it was like an insane one where the red queen is just killing everything it was like post-apocalyptic alice in wonderland oh, oh there she is she has has she drank the bottle yeah because she's now getting bigger she was small now she's big Pool of Tears. <laughs> so that's lovely. It's a really nice illustration style. I wasn't that keen on it at first, but it did really grow on me. Hmm. Here she is with all the animals. Hmm. And there's a mousy. With a long tail. <laughs> These two, whatever they are, is feeding, it looks like an iguana. <laughs> What's this guy? Looks like a walking fish. Like I've forgotten so many of the characters from this because it was such a long time ago. Uh, I do, however, know who this is. <laughs> <laughs> the Cheshire Cat, of course. A few pages with, oh, uh, that would be the Mad Hatter. Considering how many hats he's wearing, yes. Oh, and there is the tea party. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful uh, illustrations. Oh, there's Her Majesty. She doesn't look very pleased. But then again, <laughs> kings and queens never look very pleased about anything. And there's some more from that. The pink flamingos, the card people. I'm sure Tweedledum and Tweedledee will be around soon enough. Hmm. There she is with a swan. Is it a swan with a long neck or is it a goose? I'm not sure. <clears throat> the mock turtles story story sorry this was just about at the end the lobster quadrille hmm. that's obviously not a lobster <laughs> but there is a big turtle so that must be from the mock turtle perhaps Beach. What else do we have? Uh, 
finish with this perhaps. Oh, I can get there. Just a lot of chaos going on. Alice's evidence. Ah, oh, she'll be dragged into court on charges, no doubt. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Alice in Wonderland for a pound. With beautiful illustrations as well. And they're in colour. Absolute bargain. I hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment suggestion for upcoming topic you'd like to see discussed. Or like the video.